We hope this short video version of the instruction manual will help you to see how easy it is to use the zip system and how easy it is to change the filters. So once you've removed the filter from the box and you've plugged the transformer in the wall, you've plugged the power cord into the back, you'll see that the indicator light on the control panel is lit blue. This shows that the system is ready to run. So what we'll do now is we'll just fill up the pitcher with water and filter it. So when we remove the filter, you'll notice that the light flashes orange. This indicates that the system is running but just waiting to put the pitcher in. So we'll go fill the pitcher and bring it back and replace it in. Now there is a switch in the back. This is the switch which detects whether the pitcher is in or not. So when this switch is pushed in, the light will be solid blue. This shows the system is ready to run. Now on the back of the pitcher, you will see where the tube comes out. This is where the water is drawn off for the filtering. And it will go into this channel here. And this is where it will go through the filtering system. So once we have filled the pitcher and we put it back in, the light will turn blue and we will just push the button and then the filtering process will continue. Now, I will run a batch of water in a minute, but before we run a batch, uh, a few points about the picture that I'd like to show you is there's a mark here at the top which tells you how full to fill up the pitcher, and then when the filter has been filtering the water and the water level goes down, once it reaches the bottom mark, the filter will automatically stop. Before we fill the pitcher, you'll notice that inside the pitcher there is a dividing panel. The reason for the dividing panel is that once the water goes through the filter, with the RO membrane, the water that goes through the membrane, the pure water, will come to the top pitcher, and the water that passes over the membrane, which is more concentrated, will be diverted back into the pitcher, the supply pitcher, and this channel will divert the con uh, concentrated water down to the bottom of the pitcher so that your fresh water will be in the top. It's a way to increase the efficiency of the RO. Okay, now we've filled the pitcher up to the full mark and we will put it into the filter. The blue light will be solid indicating we're ready to filter and we'll just push the button and now the light is flashing blue, indicating that filtering is in process. Once the batch is finished filtering, the water level has gone down to the minimum level. The light will change to orange, indicating that the batch is finished. Now there are two ways that the light will change, the batch will finish. Normally it will take about 10 minutes to finish a batch, and when it detects that the water level is low, then it will automatically shut off. Now, if it takes longer than 20 minutes, it will automatically shut off at 20 minutes. This means that it's taking too long to filter a batch, and it's time to change your filter. Come on. Now, you're ready to drink your water. You can lift the switch up, and it will stay, or you can push it in and also get your water that way. Washing both of the pitchers is very easy. Of course, the supply pitcher, you can just remove and wash it. And the pure water pitcher is very simple to remove. Just take the top panel off, and this front panel slides up and off. And the water, where the water comes from the filter, there is a, a tube. You just turn it upwards, and the panel slides off, and you can wash it. Now, to put it back on, slide it in place. Turn this tube down, and this front panel has two little notches. Put the notches in, slide it down, and that locks everything into place. Put the cover back on, and it's ready to use again. Replacing the filters is also very easy. Just unplug the filter. Remove the back screws. There's two back screws on the panel, back panel. 
And the first filter is a PP polypropylene filter. And they just simply twist off, take your new one, put it back in. The second one is a carbon filter. Just twist it off, take your new one, put it back in. Put the cover back on and you're finished. Replacing the post filter and the RO membrane is also very simple. To replace the post filter, just pop it out of its holding clamps. And at the top and the bottom are quick connectors. So to remove the quick connector, there's a little C-clamp that locks it in place. Just slide the C-clamp out. And then there's a little collet at the top. You push it in. And as you hold it in, slide the tube out. And it's the same thing at the bottom. Remove the C-clamp, hold the collet in, and slide the tube out. Now you can just take these end pieces and they screw out. Unscrew them. Take your new filter and just reverse the process. Slide the tube in. Pull it out just a bit, slide the C-clamp in, the clip, and then at the top, put the tube in, slide it out just a bit, and put the C-clamp in, and pop it back. And changing the RO membrane is also easy. First take out the post filter, and then take out the holding clamps. And then the RO membrane will also come out of its clamps. And to remove the connectors from the RO membrane is actually very simple. It also has the quick connectors at the top. Now for the RO membrane, all you have to do is slide the collet up, slide the membrane off. At the bottom, you have the same two, connect two quick filters. Just push the collet in and slide the pipe off. Then you take your new RO membrane, reverse the process, just slide the quick connectors back on, put the RO membrane back into its brackets, put the holding clamps on for the pre or for the post filter, Post filter back on and just put your back.